Well, it's early August in Hawaii, and everyone's settled in with that favorite book, relaxing to the sound of that gentle waves as they caress the shore. The morning's trade winds herald a new day with waltzing palm fronds, oh, and jellyfish clouds. It was on just this sort of quiet morning that I was sitting outside reading my morning paper when all of a sudden, out of nowhere... What the heck was that? I had not seen this bird before, so I went online into Wikipedia and Google to see what I could learn. Hmm, seems to be a rather heated disagreement in the bird watching community as to whether this is a brown booby or a mask booby. We'll stay clear of that little fray. Let's see, what else? Frequent windward Oahu shores when the Oama are running. All right. We'll see more on the Oama in just a few minutes, but it's a small silvery fish that the locals catch by the hundreds, fry them up or use them for bait for larger fish later. So I began watching the Hawaiian A during its early morning and late afternoon fishing sessions. I soon learned its patterns and found myself mimicking its swaying movements as it circled, then did a figure eight back, always watching. And I think it was using the sun's light as a tool so the fish wouldn't see him, but he could always see them. And boy, was this bird consistent. Talk about being on time. Each morning around 7.06, I'd watch him appear flying down the beach to his favorite fishing spot. And here he comes and right over. 7.06. The Greenwich Atomic Clock has nothing on this bird. Well, the more I watched the ah, the more I wanted to paint him. So I began the initial sketch of what he looks like and the flight pattern he used. First this way, then doubling back, and then that incredible dive. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Ah Bird, could you show us your webbed feet? Gosh, thanks. Those are cool. Well, it's time to lay in some colors. First, I'll wet certain areas of the canvas with clear water. Then I'll apply watered down colors. This allows the paint to look really fluid like the ocean and moving sky that are such a strong element on the windward side of this island. Tilting the canvas back and forth allows the colors to blend with each other so beautifully. It seems our friend has taken his cue as to where the fish are by joining with some of the local Hawaiians as they fill their baskets with the oama we spoke of earlier. It's fast and furious when the oama are running and everyone gets their fill. And it was great to watch the family's tradition of fishing together, the parents teaching their children, passing it down from generation to generation. 
Sometimes the flight pattern of the Hawaiian A is so fast, it's difficult to see. Let's take a look in slow motion. Spotting the fish. Hooks his wing and begins the bank. Begins to retract his wings. And just as he hits the water, he's pencil thin. Wow. Ah, uh, what more appropriate place to create this painting than under a coconut tree? The dappled light dancing across the painting. The South Sea romance of the rustling palm. And oh, the coconuts. Look at all these, all the coconuts you could ever want. Well, I'll just get back to work here. <laughs> I just have to stop every once in a while and realize how lucky I am. I mean, what could go wrong? Whoa! What the? That old owl bird stayed about a week or so, and then he was gone. Like the tides, like the winds, and like the Owama, he followed nature's rhythm. I always learn something when I do a painting. Well, I learned that I'd best be really careful under a coconut tree for one. And I certainly realized I'd never be a scientific illustrator for National Geographic. But like the majestic Hawaiian Ah, I'm fortunate enough to do what comes naturally and enjoy the island rhythms, whether it's creating a painting or eating little silver fish. Aloha.